G'day guys. So I've been playing some roulette online as always and I've discovered something that's a little bit weird. I'm not quite sure how it exactly works but it seems to be able to sort of predict the results of the spin with a reasonable amount of accuracy. Um, but I'll show you guys how I discovered it and you know how the process actually works and then you guys can decide for yourself and what tell me what you think. But basically I've noticed it's it's with this Platypus European Roulette. Now Platypus is just a game provider. There are heaps of different casinos that provide Platypus games. Um, 7 Bit up here is one of them. BitStars is another. There's you know there's a heap of different ones. I've only tried this trick on 7 Bit, so I don't actually know if it works on the other casinos. Although I would think just if it's got Platypus European Roulette, I would think the trick works. So basically what you want to do is if you go to any casino search roulette and then have a look at the results you'll notice there's a heap of different game providers heap of different brands here we are so there's another platypus one that's their american roulette i haven't tried it with this there's a heap of different other roulettes but what we're looking for is specifically this platypus european roulette okay so once you're in platypus european roulette basically what you want to do is you want to come up to here where it's the european roulette you want to right click and go inspect now what that's actually going to do is that's going to bring up the source code of the web page. Now you can see all down here, you can see the different parts that are highlighted. They're the different sections that correspond to that line of code or that section of code. And basically what we're looking for is this IBQ1XWAL3 or this IBQ1. And what we'll notice is that through time this variable will just keep shifting between IBQ1 and IBQXWAL3. Now, Basically, a lot of these games, in order to ensure their randomness, the way they actually work is what they do is they decide the spin ahead of the bet. So that way, you know, just because you put a big bet, they can't make you lose, or a small bet, they can't make you win. It's decided before you place the bet. What I think is happening is I think somewhere in the code, it's, it's being written what this variable is, and that's updating this. And then that is being written to the web page somewhere, where we can then see it. Now, unfortunately, the actual JavaScript of how the roulette game runs isn't available, which, I mean, makes sense. It's Platypus's intellectual property, but I've tried looking for it. If anyone can find it, I'll be really interested in learning how they actually do their randomness, like down to the code, but this is all we get at the moment. So essentially what we can do is, what we want to do is we want to look at this IBQ value and depending on what it is, we can place our bet. So I've noticed if that XWAL3 is there, it seems to be more likely that a black number is going to come up. And when it's not there, then it seems to be more likely that it's red. It's not 100% of the time, but it seems to be like 75% of the time, 80% of the time. It, it follows that trend. So I'll show you what I mean. So we can see this is keep switching. IBQ1. So no XWAL, we're going to place a bet on red and we're going to spin. And hopefully, if, if the system works, it should be red. And there we go. So now we look. It's switched again now. Now it's XWAL3. So now we're going to place our bet on black. And we'll do this spin. And we'll see how we go. Black. I don't know how this works. I don't know why it works. You can see it hasn't changed now. So now we're going to go back and we're going to bet on black again because it hasn't changed. Now it's changed, so it might be, it might be wrong. No, maybe, maybe it carries over. This is the thing. I'm not going to lie and say I, I fully know why this works or how it works because I have no idea. I, there we go. It's changed again. I'm going to go back on that back on that black. But it's oh, maybe maybe I should have gone the red. See, I'm, I've, only been, I've only recently discovered this, probably within the last hour, two hours. I've been playing with it and it just it seems strange how often it seems to win these these half and half bets. See, there we go. There's another one. There's a black. Like I said, it's not every time, but it hasn't changed. We'll go black again. And black. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works, but if the I I don't think they know about this. I'm 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 not sure if any of you guys know more about how these casinos actually run their games. Please let me know. Please leave a comment down below cuz I'm so interested, but it's it's just mind-blowing. It hasn't changed, so we're going to go again. It's going to go again. Come on, please be black. But black. See, this is this is what I mean. At this point, we, we've we've predicted the, the last seven spins. We can go again. It still hasn't changed. It's still... Oh, there we go. Now it's a change. So there we go. Maybe, 
This should be a red. So if we watch, red. So guys, guys, if if you're interested in trying this out, it's it's really this easy. Just just follow the steps. Click a link down down below. I'm I can't promise it's going to work for you guys, but it's been working for me. And if if they knew this existed, to be honest, I don't I don't think it'd last very long. So once again, guys, like okay, there's a black. We'll get, we'll do it again just just for shits and giggles. Black. There we go. Like I said, I've managed to make like. 200 bucks, 300 bucks in the last hour or two. It's it's ridiculous. I have had a couple bad losing streaks where it doesn't seem to work, but then it comes right again. And it's just, I, I'm, I'm going to start, I've chucked some of the results into a spreadsheet and I'm just going to keep analyzing them and I'll keep you guys updated in the comments because who knows, this this could be random trends. This this I could just be the luckiest individual in the world and I've been picking correctly red and black every time for the last two hours. But I, I've never been that lucky before. I haven't, you know, had a history of fantastic luck. So I, I don't know what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys find this useful. And please, please, if you do, if you guys do try it out and it does work for you, please let me know. Please share it, please, because it's really not going to last long. The second the casinos find out about this, they're going to, they're either going to get rid of the platypus games. They're either going to, actually, I have noticed that a few casinos have gotten rid of the platypus games. That's one of the reasons why I switched from BitStars to Seven Casino. So maybe this is part of the reason. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to keep doing this and good luck out there, guys. Best of luck. Take it easy. Cheers.